This is Meet Your Maker, and our goal is to teach you Maze 3 or more essential tips to winning PvP, aka base rating. I'm trying to help you. Welcome, Ace Iron Bloodthirsty Lord by Yunkami Lordy, and in this video, we'll highlight our crucial beginner tips and tricks, guiding you mates to victory through our own gameplay, so you're ready for Meet Your Maker when it comes out. This is going to be fun, so bring out your chalice and stay hydrated. Core gameplay in Meet Your Maker is quite satisfying as you complete matches of low tier bases to high tier bases being brutal. We have a video on our channel, check out that if you want to see the brutal gameplay of how to win those bases. Some of that footage will be showcased right now as we're talking about how to win Meet Your Maker. So alongside that, the core gameplay starts with you outside the base, with your weapon area, your kits, then you have to rush into the base and figure out this labyrinth of traps, what has been designed there in order to get closer and closer to the red juicy cat canister. Once you're able to claim your hand on that, the rest of the map will change in certain ways depending on how it's been built by the builder which is also another player. They can change their base into a more of a trap base even when you're trying to escape, new traps will spawn and try to delay you from escaping or kill you so you have to restart again. So you go through a cycle of pretty much dying and dying and dying until you reach that juicy red canister, then possibly dying again, then restart that same thing and then continue until you reach that next game point, extracting with that juicy XP by completing so. But it can become a lot more easier with the tips I'll be able to provide within this video. One of the most important parts that Meet Your Maker does teach you is persistence. Persistence is going to be key in order to play any base from the lowest difficulty to the highest difficulty, because some of these bases can be very challenging, while other times it can be quite easy depending on how you approach it. So persistence is the number one thing, keep that in mind when you're playing this game. Persistence will end up winning those base rating and give you the XP that you need to level up your character and get more good items to utilize within your own matches and other base rating in the future. And even help your own base that you build to use against other players as well. And alongside persistence, you want to be patient. So in these certain areas, when you go from cube to cube, so platform to platform, double check everything around you from bottom, top, left, right, wherever there's a visible area in that narrow pathway or open part of the base, double check it because there will be a trap or something there willing to start up once you step on that platform. So double check. If you can shoot it, go for it. If you can't, you can use your melee strike if depending on how close it is as well. So you can use your melee blade, hit it from close by, one shots any trap that's in the game. You can also shoot a trap with your railgun or whatever weapon you're using in order to one shot it as well. So keep that in mind when approaching these traps. But alongside that, you do have movement tech and that being your grapple. Your grapple is able to gain momentum and also carry the momentum through each grapple as well. So you can grapple towards a certain location jump as soon as you touch the ground or get close towards it, carry the momentum into another location, able to give you the properties of being able to speed run some of these actual traps. And that's kind of good in certain locations. Certain buildings will be designed in an open area when you verse a whole lot of minions. And the best way to get around those minions is understanding how they shoot, but also by using your own movement, being the grappling technique and grappling around them in order to get to the juicy goodness of that red canister and claiming that and being able to extract as well. But keep in mind the minions will still stay there, they'll all be there, but if you're progressing through a narrow pathway, try to kite minions towards you or kite the monsters towards you. That's maybe the best way. Some of these monsters can be level one or be armored up so they will take multiple hits, so keep that in mind always aim the head. Majority of them don't have any armor on their head, so that's usually the best way to kill them, is go for headshots or try backstab them as well with your melee blade. They'll work out wonders as well. Alongside the movement tech from the grapple and being able to clear traps at your own pace and kite enemies back to a safe area where you can kill them, you can listen to the sounds of the game. Sound is very important. Like games with Roman sound of Hunt Showdown, you need sound. Sound will give you indicators or sound cues or when something is being activated. So if you couldn't see anything around you when you stepped on a platform, but you hear a sound, usually it's the best to move. Moving will stop you from dying from any potential thing that could hit you. Maybe it's a bolt trap, maybe it's a nail trap, or some other trap in the game. That's the best way. If you hear something, just move. Usually back is better than going forward unless you haven't cleared anything behind you. So make sure to have that as priority in your gameplay. Alongside your base moving the game with the grapple technique that we did highlight, you can also build upon that by clinging to certain obstacles and be able to jump off that surface in order to dodge a trap, but also refresh your double jump because you will have a double jump as a base movement set, but that will also give you a refresh once you cling to an item or wall or even a trap surface that was once there, now destroyed. You're able to jump off that and get a double jump once again. So be able to use your movement techniques in conjunction will help you be able to surpass these traps in certain ways or certain challenges against certain minions, especially the arrow ones, in order to get to the next point. And if you ever get lost during your base raid or go to the wrong aspect of the base, because sometimes there's multiple routes in a base, which can lead players to reach a dead end and pretty much die to certain traps there, or you get lost in general, 
usually go back to the very starting point. There's a red mini drone, little guy that walks around, a little red cube. Follow that, that will show you where the red canister is exactly. So if you see him chilling and walking around you, don't kill it. Usually that's the way to gain easy information about what's happening next. There's also a parry mechanic in the game, but I highly suggest not using this until it's your last hope. Usually if you get stuck in a certain area, just melee. That's the simple goal trick. If you see a projectile coming towards you from a minion or a trap, try to parry it and hopefully you have the timing right and that will make it a successful parry. If not, you will deal with the damage and usually that means fatal death. So practice makes perfect with this mechanic, but there's also other items in the game which increase that invulnerability for a certain period of time in order to surpass certain traps. Another tip is to use your grapple technique in order to activate certain traps by surpassing it and then being pulled back towards that trap in order to destroy it with a melee strike. That's like a mini combo that I use quite a lot in my gameplays in Meet Your Maker because you can go activate trap by going quickly past it or just activating the next platform, then going away from it and then from there, be able to hit it quite easily by getting close to it and melee striking it before it reloads and activates the trap once again. So you're pretty much in a safe period, but keep in mind if you're doing this really quickly, there will be other traps in conjunction that will try to stop you from doing that. The high level traps in the Brutal difficulty do have these being set up because they know players will be using this combo in order to pass certain traps really quickly. And another mechanic for big minion hordes is usually try and put them in a narrow location, have a grenade with you, lobby that grenade into that area, and hopefully get multi kills. If not, you can also do the same with melee strikes. Since your melee strike in the game can cleave multiple opponents at once, try to utilize that to your benefit. For the low level minions, this could be quite easy. For the high level minions, it can be very hard to do this. So I suggest not doing it for that and actually taking your time to actually kill them. Really slow start up so you usually take a hit then but if they try to strike you try dodge and then rinse and repeat until they die and a mechanic that many players won't know when they first start the game is that railgun only has two shots in it so keep that in mind two shots every time you shoot it you have to collect the shot it's represented by a blue indicator or a blue heartbeat sensor type of visual effect keep that in mind if you want to go there pick it up in order to have another shot in your ranged weapon if you don't pick it up you end up having one shot left and if you do the same thing with that shot then you have no shots and you have to resort to only melee and grapple techniques and jumping, which can be quite hard. I highly suggest always picking up your ammo whenever you can in order to pretty much clear traps at a faster, efficient pace. And having those range shots can be life and death in this game because some traps in the game will try to pull you to other traps. By hitting that trap first before getting pulled to others, you're pretty much safe and you won't have a fatal death. So that is something I always keep on me just in case. And if I do ever miss my shot and then I'm like, oh, I forgot about it, I will go backwards to pick it up. So I'm not at a disadvantage when progressing through the base. And also, when you do pick up the red canister in the game, the base can change. Depending on how the player has built it, new traps will spawn, and sometimes they camouflage through certain aspects being hidden on certain levels, which you can't see them because the platform is pointing a different way, so your perception when come back is hard to see that location. It gets camouflaged with the other traps that have been broken already. You think, oh look, that's maybe a trap I broke earlier, and you forget how it's actually placed, or how you went through the base initially, well, on the way out, you get killed by one of those traps. So be very, very careful. And those are essential tips on winning PvP and base rating in Meet Your Maker. The crucial beginner tips and tricks that you need in order to get all the victories in your path when the game does come out which is very very soon i think a day or so and it's also free to play on playstation 5 through playstation plus so make sure to download it during that month in order to have the game for free and if you may have any other tips i haven't showcased in this video tell me in the comment section down below i'd love to know and how about the rest of the mates in the comment section as well i'd love to see that in the comment section down below as always mates it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we're through this and i'll catch you mates next time bye Road to 200k subscribers let's get it mates